In today's video, we will be checking out all the new possible leaks about the Deagles and Dragons 2nd Edition. All the way to the lucky spin, the case containing skins, and much more about this event. But before we check out all those leaks, make sure to press that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to stay tuned with new possible information about critical ops. But for now, let's check out the leaks. First of all, I want to point out that some of these leaks have been provided by a data mining team which is called Critical Leaks on Discord and if you want to join this server, there's going to be a link in the description. So the release date of this event, which most people are dying for, is most likely going to be in a week's time or maybe two after the release of this video. But before this event actually gets released, we'll most likely get the new Critical Pass much sooner. But anyways, for the event, this is most likely going to be the main loading screen when we once open the game. And first of all, we can see the new case, which is a green treasure chest with a purple dragon on it, holding a sword to keep the chest locked. We also see a breach guy holding a new deagle skin, a really weird looking sword, and also some golden gauntlet gloves. And next we have the main menu which is going to be in the main lobby. Here we see yet again the breach guy holding the new stuff. Here we see a weird looking deagle. This guy also has some weird looking gloves that for some reason reminds me of Thanos' infinity gauntlet. But I'm just gonna call these the draconian gauntlets. And the sword with the help of Google is a Flamberg type of sword or just a wavy sword in general. Or maybe even a flame-like sword. Anyways, we also have the textures of the new case where we see all the parts of the dragon which are purple and also the green chest and a little bit of golden coins in the middle. We also have a PNG type of the new upcoming event, Special Tokens, which it looks kinda choppy but there is a resemblance of a dragon in the middle. And of course we have the title of the event itself and slightly resembles, for me at least, World of Warcraft resemblance. The next thing we're going to check out are going to be the new skins in the case. But if you want to check out the new ones and also the last year skins from the advanced C cases, then I'm going to leave a video right on top of this one. So make sure to check that out. But for now, let's check out the skins. And the final thing we're going to check out are going to be the lucky spin skins. However, we do not have the actual skin designs just yet. But once we do, I'll post a video. But for now, I'm just going to show some images that could possibly be similar to the actual skins. Here we have a list of all the skins that are going to be the lucky skin. And surprisingly, there's not going to be any emblems in this spin. Note that the background images are just possibilities are not the actual skins themselves. But anyways, the first skin we have is the SG551 Vivern Hatchling, which is going to be a tier 1 skin. The next skin we're going to have is going to be the Smoke Grenade Cold Wormling, which is also a tier 1 skin. 
the next skin is going to be called Fae Dragon, which is a tier 2 for the M14, and it's going to be possibly a, like a fairy dragon. The next skin is Salamander, which is a tier 2 for the AK-47, and it's basically just going to be like a lizard. The next skin is going to be for the Flashbang and the FP6 Shotgun called Fiamma, which is a tier 3, and no freaking clue what it could possibly be is, but it's probably going to be some kind of Firebird. The next skin is for the Eurasia called Vivernum Knight, which is a tier 4, and it's probably just going to be like the Knight of Swords skin for the AK, but for the Eurasia. Then we have the Xiaochol, which is a tier 5 skin for the M4, and it has possibly the resemblance to the Fire Serpent from Counter Strike. The last two skins we have is the Dragon Sword and the Dragon Leather, and both of them are the Short Sword and the Gloves. And as we see, these are the actual skin designs for them. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Make sure to press that like button as it really helps me out. And also subscribe to stay tuned with new information regarding Critical Ops. But for now, enjoy this crappy gameplay.